everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm Christina of World Pictures Gardeners. Join me today as I'll be doing garden updates on Juranta hedges. And I'll be growing seedlings for shallots, onions, and harvesting bananas. And I'll be doing more and more. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your, your usual support. Join me, guys. <laughs> Last year I I did some garden patch up around. I started planting the lawn runners here. It has been three months since I used the the lawn runners around to to plant here, but the space is already filled up. So. I wanted something to complement with this hibiscus garden around here to add green color and give up life. It's been three months since I've 
planted this lawn here. It, it has covered fully here. I already, I already mowed it. So it's giving me a good vibe. I didn't know what to do around here, so I decided to to plant the lawn to fill up the space. And also here I wanted to I wanted the yellow colors to complement with other colors and I decided to plant a few urantas here. So it's been almost four months since I planted this Geranta seedlings. They are now lush and beautiful in color. So I see some few patches around here. There was Geranta here, but it didn't made up. So I'll have to come again and fill up these patches so that this Geranta can interlock here and make a nice border around here, the yellow border. But I want to make it short. As you can see here also, there's some few spaces around here, which means I have to plant around four or five gerontas here to speed up the growing process of the gerontas. They will be in this line. They are quite doing well. This is my progress of my garden. As on this front spot, it's a red. It's a red little ruby. It's quite doing well. You can call it red or purple color ruby. It's quite doing well. It will need just a haircut around here so that it's that other side of the gerontas will complement each other by the color. This is my favorite front spot of hibiscus colors. They're just quite blooming well. Doing well it's my one of my best and favorite spots of gerontas and here is a mix of different colors of geranta which i made a circle around the shade tree just to give a lash of color around the garden of which it will complement with the Mexican petunia, which I made it to combine with the Duranta to make a very beautiful circle, which I'll cut short. I want to make this Duranta to go at a high length. So this Mexican petunia flowers purple colors, so they'll complement each other. They're quite doing well. They are growing very well. I started them from a seedling. And these are some quite few gerontas that I will be doing some bowls around here, short bowls around the garden area. And this is the other one. We are going to. I will make some short shapes around the garden. Let me take you to the other spot. I've been feeling gerontas. One thing about geronta is it needs lots of water. Lots of water to make it awake. So, since we are living in a sunny or hot, hot country, so sometimes I skip to water them due to other, other time constraints. So, sometimes it becomes leggy and once I water, the, the Geronta wake up. This is another border on the other side of the garden. It's, they're doing well. 
it's going to be they're going to be on this shape and also at this height of other Gironta is going to be a very long long border along the lawn this is the height that I need for this one of this short Gironta but it has already interlocked with each other it's growing quite well and over there there's another Gironta that I planted on June last year it's already growing well but there's another this spot this piece is where i'll have to fill with one duranta but otherwise everything is growing well but this this duranta i feel like it needs more water because it's, we've been experiencing extreme hot hot weathers around here heat wave so it's doing well it's going to give me a very nice border this one i'll have to raise this border up so that it close or hide this spot this back spot And around here, I have a lot of indoor plants that have been eaten. But this time around, they came up nicely. This is the nice variegated indoor plant. And also this one is coming up nicely. And also there's the other one here. They're quite doing well. And I've added some few. This morning I added some few colocasia. Colocasia elephant ears around here. I love elephant ears very much. I've done some few pictures around here of elephant ears. And the other ones here. This is my favorite spot where I grew my indoor plants. They're under the shade. There are a lot of indoor plants around here. They're coming up nicely. These are the creepers around here. This one is called the Lady of the Night. It's quite doing well. And over here, the heart plants are quite doing well. Around, they're doing well. And the fish tail is quite doing dropping well. Around here, the basket is quite a very huge shade tree around here.
my channel like comment subscribe share the videos if you see this information that i'm providing is useful what are you waiting for subscribe see you on the next video bye bye but if i lay down and i play dead and i stay dead baby